It's an impressive cage. Not built, I think, for me. Built for something a lot stronger than you. Oh, I've heard. A mindless beast makes play he's still a man. How desperate are you? You call on such lost creatures to defend you. How desperate am I? You threaten my world with war. You steal a force you can't hope to control. You talk about peace and you kill because it's fun. You have made me very desperate. You might not be glad that you did. It burns you to have come so close. To have the Tesseract, to have power, unlimited power. And for what? A warm light for all mankind to share. And then to be reminded what real power is. Well, let me know if real power wants a magazine or something. All right, so I'm, I'm here with Tom Miller, who plays Loki and, mm -hmm. and the Avengers series and Anne and Thor. For you, for, for Thor, when you play Loki, it's like such a, a huge role. Now we see you doing all these other things, you know, all these great Shakespearean movies and everything yeah, else. Yeah. How has that experience opened up, you know, opportunities for you? Uh, just massive. Um, I guess because um, uh, Loki has been, he's such a huge character, he's such a complex character, there's so much going on with him. He's, on one level, he's like an embodiment of everything we're afraid of. He's, 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 he's the darker aspect of human nature, given breath. Mm -hmm. But also he's got all this emotional complexity, he's kind of heartbroken and, and lost and lonely, and, and, and it's just a fantastic um, chance to, uh, to, 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 I guess, to show what I'm capable of in a way, in a different way to, because I don't look like him at all, and, I, and it's not a, I don't think I was ob ever obvious casting for that character, mm -hmm. so it has opened up lots of, lots of things, and people, people are, I think, I hope, surprised by it. What, what's the, the, the aspect of that type of story that, that we keep on seeing and repeat, like these brothers that, have like this beef. I mean, it's, it's either yeah. it's biblical in a sense. You, yeah. you see it, you see yeah, it in yeah. the stories. But I mean, what what does the audience supposed to take from these brothers at war, so to speak? Well, I think it's like I think it's um, they're representations of of like of choice. Like you can choose to be the good guy or you can choose to be the bad guy, and it's like they're both born with the same with the same life. You know, they both have the same parents. They both have the same home, and Thor chooses the higher the higher ground you know the high road mm -hmm. um, he's noble and and honest and virtuous and um, and that's his it becomes his identity like he steps into all of those things and Loki just he just uh, everything is misguided and and he chooses the low road and he chooses kind of selfishness and and power and uh, and it's all wrong basically so in a way I think warring brothers is is like a it's like a dramatization of that choice in a way that, mm -hmm. that um, Shakespeare called it um, the better angel and mm -hmm. the foul fiend, mm -hmm. and that they, he had on his on his two shoulder, shoulders the better angel and the foul fiend, and you have got these like they're both talking to you and saying come this way, come this way, and and um, I guess that's it. That's kind of what it is. Well, thanks for helping me understand that, man. I, I keep on watching you no matter what you're in. You're a great actor. Thank you so much. Thank man. you for your time. Thanks for giving thanks a great so movie and. Uh, can't wait to see Thanks, you in your next man. stuff. Bless Thank you, everybody.